going to show you how to make that. And then I'm going to show you how to make a tasty snack with them. And then I'm going to show you what you can do with the liquid, now known as aquafaba. And then I'm going to put some of them in a, on a tray to roast. So I'm going to put them on a bit of tissue just to dry them off a bit so that they, they roast a little bit quicker. And then I'm going to put a little bit of oil, just a little bit. And then I'm going to put on some paprika because paprika is like one of my favourites. But you can put any spice or herb on nothing if you wanted to. You could just put a little bit of sea salt or salt, any kind of a little bit of seasoning and then we're just going to shake those round just to coat them and we're going to roast them for about 20 minutes. If you can't wait that long you could just put them in a dry frying pan and just wait until they're, they're crunchy but I'm just going to show you. So we're just going to put them in the oven. Put it at about 190 and then after five minutes open up the oven, let the steam out and then um, um, then put close back again and just, just try and um, test them after about 20 minutes. Right, I'm not really measuring this, it's all personal taste really. So I'm going to put a bit, probably about half a teaspoon of cumin in there and I'm just going to put one clove of garlic in. Everybody's got their own tolerance for garlic. I just like I just like a little bit. I like it nice, you know. I know it's gonna get whizzed up, but don't want to make sure it doesn't get any lumps in there. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in, probably about a tablespoon, and I'm gonna put a couple of tablespoons of warm water in. Um, if you want to put some tahini in, go ahead. If you want to put some coriander in there, go ahead. Um, we're just gonna blitz this plain to start with. <laughs> Then I'm going to get a fork. Now you can have it in a rustic look where it's kind of half, half done. Actually what we will put in there is a little bit of salt. Obviously that's a personal thing. Everybody tastes things differently. So I like carrot. Now coriander goes nice with carrot. So does lemon. So I'm going to put a little bit of lemon concentrate in. Now you could use a real lemon, you could use some lemon rind. Um, hummus is one of those things, you just have a play with it, write it down and then if you really like it you know what to do for next time. So here it is. I really like beetroot hummus um, and you can do spinach and pea and it can make a real rainbow effect um, if you layer them. Um, it just looks really nice. But we'll just stick with these two. So we've got the traditional one and the, the carrot. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of paprika on again. You could put cayenne pepper on there instead if you want to, and a little drizzle of oil. So that's our um, hummus. So here are our very roasted um, chickpeas. Nice and crunchy. Mm. Really nice, real alternative to eating nuts. Um, let me cool down. Um, can't resist one shot at the other one though. So yeah, that's re really nice. And if you wanted to, you could whisk them up a bit and actually put them in your hummus and um, just give it a little bit of a different flavour and a bit of a different texture. 